Twitter the Gaming Pro here, and I'm back with another video. And this is the beginning of what is going to be like a new series, but different. And I'm doing a Redstone slash Building Tutorial series. This one's going to be Redstone. Now, as you can see, I've got two basic and then an advanced. So the AND gate, the on off gate will make a button act like a lever, and then the store. So I'll put the time under it if you just want to skip to a specific one. And let's get started. So, first for the AND gate, these are the items you'll need for sure. Then these are extra items depending on how long you're going to make your track. So you need to go one, two, three. Dude, dude, dude. Dude. And then you just take this and connect it depending on how long you want the track. So as you can see, it's off. Flip one lever, nothing happened. Flip the other lever, now it's on. Turn one lever back off, it's off again. Meaning both levers have to be pulled. Here it is in spectral. In a spectral view, cut over the top view. And I will put blue wool over everything that is not necessary. So this is what you will need right here. This is the basic on off gate. And it will still work with blocks. See now? It's not lit up. It's lit up. So that's the basic and gate. I'm just going to keep this in my inventory for that. Now the on off gate. This one's a little bit trickier. But again, all the items you need for sure. And then the extra items that you'll need just depending on how long the circuit is. So you're gonna need a redstone. Wait, never mind, you need three redstone, sorry. And this might have to be one closer. Yeah, this has to be one closer. Then you'll connect this and this. And you'll go down here, take your hoppers, that's gonna need to be moved. Sorry, this is my first tutorial, as you know. Connect them like that. Then place the last two pieces of redstone right there. Mine this block out. Mine this block out. And then that's not completely it. And then it'll activate this. And the last thing you just need to do is put a block in one of the hoppers. Anything. And then boom. Not turning off. Boom. So basically, what you'll need is this system. That's the system you'll need, plus a block in the hopper. And you put multiple, like I could do this, and I don't know how that'll work, actually, I've never tested it. So it goes on, left the blue there, and if I hit it, I think it's just like a permanent switch now, like, oh no, it put them both in. Meaning it'll take two presses to do it, I think. Maybe? No, I think I just broke it. Okay, so don't do that. But, now it's time to get into this more advanced one. Now this one has some different stuff. This is what you need to completely build the store. And the anvil is actually something I just like. It's not actually needed. You can use a sign instead of the anvil so you can replace them. But this is what you're going to need. Now these are just my building blocks. These can be swapped out for whatever blocks you'd like. But I just, I'm going to go down here some and let's get to building this. So just build a nice little 3x3 three three wall with like a doorway inside. Now you can either build it like this. Except you'll not the dispenser. And here's where I left the anvil in the chest, didn't I? Yes, I did. So I'm gonna need this anvil for this part. And these are the extra items, of course. And these are special items that you can use for certain purposes. So we'll take this, and I'll just say one wood sword. I guess I'm just doing an unrealistic thing really four bucks sure and you can do whatever you want there or you can just use a sign but that means when you open it one wood sword is four bucks 
I like doing that a lot more than having the sign. But other people disagree. And I freaking left the redstone. Did the redstone combine when I put it in? Or did I just forget redstone? You're gonna need a little bit of redstone. Don't remember the exact amount now. Crap. Why? And I'm just gonna throw a little bit of a floor in here too. So there we go. I've got a little trading post over here. Now this is gonna be too wide. Like, it only takes up one wide, so really you only need that, but you have to skip a block to put in the next shop, otherwise the shops will combine and just activate them both. So I went down to here, you mine the block under it, and put one of the, put, put a chest, then you'll just put a block back in there, comparator, no, I did four bucks, right? So you need to put two redstone, why do I keep forgetting things? I forgot the repeaters now. And the, the repeaters? Oh yeah, I have them in the chest because it depends. Never mind. The repeaters depends on how much your item is going to cost. That's why I had all the red cents over there, because it depends on how much your item is going to cost. Yeah, okay. So if I'm doing four, I, do, I could do that. One. And then instead of going over here like most people would, you go... Crap, this is supposed to, this is where the slab goes, sorry. You put the repeater on Okay. One dollar. Two dollars. Now you go down here. Three dollars. Four dollars. Now it is the, only for the first one is it one dollar, two dollar. After that, this is this is nothing. Then it's three. Okay? Then I'll take this. Okay, I'm at the chest. So this is why you need an unlimited amount of redstone, possibly. So I'll take this. And that'll run that. And what you'll do then, there, come up here, place a block back down there to stop the items from escaping. Throw in your dropper. And that's where you'll put the items in that you want to come out. Then all you have to do to cover up this little hopper site is crouch and put whatever block you're using as your wall. Now you can't see through it. I'm going to do a nice low ceiling. And that's it for the basic shop except for filling it up. To fill it up you just literally go down here and say I'm using gold as my money. Take it. One, two, three, four. And just throw in a certain amount. It'll start to empty. There we go. And you could try to memorize the prices or do the math to figure them out. You guys can do that by yourself. You can remove the gold from the chest. Now it is set to the second you put four gold in here. It'll register and then pop out your item. Now, warning. The more the item costs, the longer this line will have to be, and the longer it will take till your item comes out. Now here's a little extra part, that was the complete shop if you're wondering, but like with wooden swords you might want to do this extra part, or any type of weapon like that. So all you need is a chest or more, depending on how many you want to do, I'm just going to do one, and a hopper, and you just go down here. Dude, crap, I forgot about this part. Crap. No, you just do hoppers, no chest, never mind. You just fill this line up with hoppers. Then grab my wooden sword. And just fill this thing up and it will all empty out. Filling everything up. Okay, two more, and then this will be full. Now I'm just gonna grab this, grab my andesite. So now this is saying, and I also wanna demonstrate this. Okay, so here's how it works. If you don't pay attention, it'll just take it, stick
steal your item forever. You can jam it that way. I think. Wait, no, I think it's detecting the... No, it's detecting the bottom one, right? But what is it detecting? It's detecting this one, so... Your iron will get stuck in here. So what you it'll do is just... You'll lose that iron and too much. We'll jam it. Now, if you were to raise the system up one, the iron would be in there, and you could just take it back if you jammed it. Which you could do, I've just never... It, it's really hard to implement that down there. Now, I have five in there. And if you do five, it'll just save your payment. Like, I throw in the four now. And all the is about to strike. Crap. I got my wooden sword, I don't know if you noticed before the auto save, but yeah, it gave me my wooden sword. Now if I throw this in there, I don't get anything of course, but now, next time I go up, I only have to throw in three gold, give it a second, and I got a wooden sword again. So that's the shop guys, it's pretty small, you just can't put two shops directly next to each other, because then these all combine. But this can range to any price you want to a limit because eventually the hopper just doesn't have enough room to support it. And then you just have to keep extend then you have to extend this redstone out. If you go above the price of 18, you have to extend this redstone one more out. But I'll get into that stuff in a different video, guys. That was it for this video. And yeah. Some nice redstone tutorials for y'all. Bye.